What's up YouTube, Cap over here, and welcome to another Wi-Fi battle against Aaron from Reddit. If you guys want to challenge us, be sure to hit us up on either Twitter or Reddit, or just find some way to get in contact with us and we'll make it happen. Anywho, we're going to be doing a UU battle, and uh, I sort of splashed the team together to see and hope for the best, but let's see. So uh, the team I'm going to be bringing today is pretty random, just because I sort of just built it right now, and I'm just waking up so my voice is still... Uh, pretty pretty cracky and still pretty morning. Uh, anywho, he's got the Blastoise, the Ludicolo, Gabantula, Cradilly, Typhlosions, and the Feraligator. So he's got a really offensive team. He also has a potential uh, rain team. We see a lot of that. Uh, we can see we can see that he might set up the sticky webs too. So Apple Apple might be playing a big part in this, and I also have to waste out the rain. Uh, let's see if my I mean Xiao has it has fake out, so that's good. And I'll just show you what I'm bringing in today. Uh, I've got Holy Whales, my Choice Scarfed Whale Lord, uh, Geico, the Mega Skeptile, Doc Dodgers, the Porygon 2, we got Nightingale, the Swallow, and Apple, the Rotom Heat. So I think I'm gonna lead off with my uh, Shifu over here, my. Uh, I mean, show just because I feel like he's gonna lead off with Cavantula. That seems like a pretty solid lead, and he wants to get up his sticky webs, which will allow either Typhlosion and for, for Alligator to outspeed almost everything on my team. So that's what I'm predicting. Uh, he's probably gonna want to get up his hazards up first as soon as possible. As soon as possible, because for Alligator does a number to my team. I don't really have much of a defensive options. Uh, Dilly is going to come out, so that's fine by me. I do believe I have high jump kick on my Cray Dilly, so I'm just going to go for the fake out uh, and then follow it up with a high jump kick. I can see what sort of Cray Dilly it is. Uh, I don't think it's that defensive. We get a crit on it, so I don't. Unfortunately, I don't get a lot of information. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the high jump kick. I think I'm just going to go for that. I should be hopefully able to take it out. Landed, thankfully. Uh, let's see, that's that's going to go down right away. That's nice. So, Cradilly's gone, which means... Do I have any mods with water attacks? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, thankfully that thing goes down pretty quick. He doesn't have much options for this mean shell, though. Uh, that's, I'm guessing that's a type Typhlosion. Yeah, there we go. That's a type Typhlosion. Um, pretty much I'm just gonna go into... I could just go into Apple over here. I'm guessing this is Choice Scarf too. So depending on what sort of Doc Dodgers I have, I think I should be able to take it. I know the eruption's gonna happen. Or I can just go into Holy Whales, but it's the Ruins. Well, Holy Whales doesn't really do much in this battle. He really, really doesn't. Or she, I guess. She doesn't really do a lot. I guess I could scare it out with a Scald. Um, let's check the moves that you have over here. We've got Hyper Beam too. So I could just go for the Scald and sort of hope for the best and try to get the Baron on something. Which is not a bad option. So I think I'm just going to go into Holy Whales just because Holy Whales doesn't do much in this battle and the end game. We got rid of Cray Daily, so we don't have to worry much about the Water Absorb or anything like that. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate, because I do have extra sensory. So, he was predicting, or he was just going just gonna to go straight up for damage. So, I don't mind that. That's not a bad situation for my part, so I'm just going to go for Scald. Uh, maybe he might just lock himself over here and just keep on going for that, but... I want to try to get some damage off this thing. But he's just gonna withdraw, that's fine by me. Spooter. Uh, the. The Gavantula is gonna come through. Which is. Which is not bad. Uh, I think I'm just gonna actually stay in and just keep on firing off some Scalds. Maybe I can outspeed. Yeah, of course the Sticky Web is gonna come in, that's fine by me. Uh, I just really wanted to get rid of this thing. It's a bit ballsy, but. And that sticky webs were gonna come up, which sucks because not a lot of things can outspeed. And uh, 
Liberty Call is going to come in. Bit of a threat over here just because it can start setting up. So my play over here is actually just to go for Scald. I want to try to get the burn on it. Um, getting some residual damage would be pretty nice. Do I get the burn? There we go, we get the burn. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll help me later down the road. Uh, now our next play over here is maybe just to go for... We, we could just save our Choice Scarf Pokemon over here just for later down the road. A lot of things really do hurt me at this point though. And I think I'm just going to go into Doc Dodgers over here. Yeah, Doc Dodgers is my best option. This thing probably has like Ice Beam, Giga Drain, and Hydro Pump or something like that. Uh, Doc Dodgers is most likely to take the Giga Drain. Uh, let's see what sort of uh, Doc Dodgers this is too. Download, alright, that's cool. We get our attack boost. It would have been pretty funny to just get the trace ability. That would have been nice. So that does a decent amount of damage. So I want to stall out this rain too at the same time. Uh, getting block dodges in here is pretty nice. I could also just go for recover and just get some decent damage off, but I'm going to see how much Hydro Pump does, or Scald. He's actually just going to withdraw. I had a free opportunity to just K-Max. The Blastoise. I'm guessing this is his Mega Blastoise with Aura Sphere. That's a bit scary just because it does a decent amount of damage to me. Uh, this couldn't be his specially defensive Pokemon. I, I think Cradilly would have been that. I think I'm just going to get some information over here. Uh, just because if he goes into Blastoise, uh, my endgame is set up with Geico. Geico can outspeed a lot of his... Well, I'm going to go for the Tri-Attack. I know the Aura Sphere is probably coming. Uh, he seems to be running a lot of things that are just going to hit me and hit me some more. Bring the train, pain train on. So he's just going to go for Scald, which is not bad. I don't easily take that. And I don't get burnt too, so that's always nice. Uh, do I get any additional effects? No, we get some damage off of that thing, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to go into my Holy Wheels. Uh, just because I think I'm just going to try to finish it off with a Hyper Beam. Uh, Hyper Beam might be able to do some decent damage. But Holy Wales is, is actually putting in some decent work out over here. Uh, we're going we're gonna to add some pressure too, which is nice. So he's just going to stay committed to Scald. Seems to be his weapon of choice. Do we? Get a, he doesn't get the burn. I'm just going to fire off a Hyper Beam over here. Uh, just because I want to get some as much damage as I can. So he's going to stay in, that's fine. Means he's going to go for attack, get the Hyper Beam off. How much damage do we do? Oh, we have. Yeah, that's a crit. That's big. That's really big. Oh, man. Holy Whales did way more than I thought this whale would do. Wow. That Hyper Beam. I think I can actually just go into Apple over here. Uh, there's no way that thing can outspeed me, and I'm going to get some decent damage off of something. And I don't get affected by the sticky webs too, so Apple can come in here and just go for a Volt Switch, no point of going for anything else. He's actually just going to stay in, which is fine by me, but I get to preserve my Apple. My Apple some bananas. And uh, I think I can just switch out into... I I'm going to switch out into Shifu. Or, yeah, no, yes, maybe. Maybe she, oh, well, I think I'm going to switch into Nightingale. I think Nightingale might be my weapon of choice over here. Uh, just because he can't bring in his Ludicolo. I get the free burn. Uh, the rain has been up for quite some time. I don't know how long it's been. Or I guess he's just going to bring in... This thing must have damp rock or something. So this is this is gonna be to scout out if he does have. I, I want my Nightingale to stay in. Doc Dodgers doesn't really do much at this point, other than just absorb hits. Uh, I might have just maybe 
maybe I should have just gone into my um, other mon over there, but we're going to see. I, I feel like he's got the Ice Beam. If he doesn't, then that's interesting. So there's the Ice Beam, and his last move is probably like a Scald or something like that. The rain stopped at that moment. And at this point, I, I, I feel safe to go for a try attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay going for a try attack. He's probably just he's just gonna go for a serve. That's fine by me. We should be easily we can eat it up. Yeah, there we go. Mm, delicious, nutritious, some delicious stay hydrated water, and with the burn too, it's nice. So at this point, I think I'm committed to just I'm gonna go for recover. Uh, just because if he withdraws, then that's fine by me. But he's just gonna go for a Giga Drain. Totally fine by me. Um, at this point, I I feel pretty confident in, to go into uh, Rotom. Actually, Rotom is a good option just because I can keep on applying that pressure of U turning. Uh, it sucks that I lost Porygon two over there, but my switch into Typhlosion is just to go for to uh, what's his face. The other mon over there. And I think my turn this time is just to go into uh, Shifu over here. Because I can get the fake out off, get some additional damage. And that'll be pretty nice. Assuming he doesn't go into extra sensory uh, Typhlosion. I feel, I've, I feel like Typhlosion could come out at this moment. I also want to get the knockoff off. Too. So, Typhlosion is going to come in. I'm going for Fake Out just because Eruption is still a big thing. And I don't want to deal with that. So we get a decent amount of damage off. That's... It's alright. It's alright. At this point, I think I'm just going to go into Apple. Uh, Apple should be able to eat up any attacks this thing wants to do if it goes for Extra Sensory. I feel like this is Choice Banded too, or Choice spec We're gonna get, get a good indication if it's Choice spec or not. I feel like it is Choice spec And I'm 40, 60. I might be able to live this. If I do, it's gonna be barely. Let's see. Is it barely? Ooh, ooh, I know that was a roll. Cause the last one did about 60. So he might've gotten a high roll or something over there. Something. I'm gonna go into Nightingale. I feel like Nightingale can take one, or we'll be actually able to outspeed this thing. So I'm gonna go for a Facade. There we go. This thing is probably Choice Spect, which is pretty scary to deal with. And that's gonna be huge because now Nightingale is my win condition. It is absolutely my win condition. It could be. I don't think it is actually. I'm gonna go for a facade over here. Uh, he's most likely gonna go for an Aqua Jet, or he's gonna risk the biscuit and go for a Dragon Dance. Or, uh, yeah, Aqua Jet or Dragon Dance, which is fine, because I've got quick attack on this set. Which means, if he goes for Dragon Dance, the facade will for sure do a lot of damage. The Aqua Jet might not do enough, but then I can follow it up with my Rotom. And I still have, I mean, no, yeah. No, I lost Rotom. I, I still have Mean Shadow with Fake Out, so. He's not going to go for the Aqua Jet. I'm guessing. Ooh, ooh. That, that's close. That's really close, and that's why I have Fake Out on my Mean Shadow, and I have Quick Attack. So, we're going to see if it does pay off. I'm pretty sure my Quick Attack will go first before this attack lands. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Easily finish off this battle with the Quick Attack. Really good game, Aaron. Um, yeah, really good game. If you guys enjoyed this battle, be sure to smash the like button. If you guys want to see more, be sure to leave a comment. And uh, I'm going to get going. So thanks for watching. This is Cap, signing off.